Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, wow, my deck is icy. <laughs> uh, we got rain last night, and um, then uh, today um, it's uh, 32 degrees, and everything is icy. At least on my deck, anyway. I don't know. I think the roads are heated up enough to uh, that they're okay. But uh, my deck has just now starting to hit the sun, just now hitting it. So it'll dethaw here shortly, I imagine. But by golly, uh, by the way, this is going to be a long video. Got a lot to say uh, today. So let's get started. First of all, I want to thank Chuck for his understanding. Now, uh, that's exactly. Uh, what has expired uh, has happened. Um, that's my biggest fear. Uh, I have been raised that um, I treat ladies with respect uh, no matter what. Um, the Mormon church is very, very strong about that. Um, And um, so to to be to hold a temple recommend, uh, so you're allowed to go into a Mormon temple, you have to be perfect. Uh, in other words, you got to pay your tithing. You got to be, you know, within good standing with the church. Uh, in other words, if the bishop uh, uh, tells you to uh, uh, appoint you a position in the church, you do it. You know, um, whether it's uh, home teaching to uh, eat, doing the bulletins or, you know, whatever. My job is, is, um, is to go across town, pick up on Mondays, and pick up the bread that they have extra and distri uh, distribute, you know, all those to different people that need it for the needy. And um, I have an area um, on my back porch here that I put the bread and so the dog can't get in there, not, really not coming in my house uh, because I can't allow a, a woman to enter the house. Um, especially married ladies uh, because that wouldn't be proper. Um, I didn't want to leave it out in the garage because of mice, so uh, so I have it on my back porch, um, and that works out fine. Um, so yeah, I am I'm very strict about what's left on the website because you, everyone should realize that Google copies everything. Uh, my ex-wife, for example, the way I check up on her uh, is I type it into Google, you know, her name, and it comes up with all these comments she puts on her Facebook page, uh, for example. Uh, you can find out anything about somebody, you know, just typing their name on, on Google search, and they, there's so much information collected these days, uh, it's not even funny. Uh, so yeah, I am. That's the only reason why it was uh, him saying about Doomsday. Look, I don't know whether it's Doomsday is going to happen or not. Okay. Scientists say yes. Some people say no. Some spiritual leaders say yes. Some say no. We don't really know exactly what's going to happen. I do believe that the Earth is going to change, but I don't know into what. Did I ever say that Christ is coming? No, I never said that. Anyway, Street Sweeper. Cool. Str streets are clean. Um, there was a report yesterday that a, a scientist, lady scientist, had uh, some hair that was uh, found in the woods in Washington State 
um, and um, they did a DNA testing. They think this is from a Sasquatch or Bigfoot. The DNA testing from those hairs showing that it is part human. Uh, they they seem to think that Bigfoot is uh, what we used to be back 15,000 years ago. Now, back 15,000 years ago, that's about when the Sumerian people were here. Sorry for the noise. Street sweeper. Um, so... The Sumerians that came from Nibiru, the planet that's in a long orbit, they came here to mine gold. They needed gold for their atmosphere and for other things. They decided to take Anderthals, in other words, uh, us, that we used to be an Anderthal, didn't have much brain power, and they changed our DNA. When they changed our DNA, we became human. So-called human that we are today. Is it possible that this could be true? That some of the Sasquatches, or Bigfoot they call them today, used to be us 15,000 years ago? They didn't find these, and they left some. And of course, you know, they... Uh, multiplied and now they're all over the country in the woods they're a very smart creature you can't call them human and you can't call them animal either because they're part human uh, there's going to be some other scientists look at her data and see whether her data is correct but how fascinating is that if this is so, if this is part human, if they are part human, definitely Congress needs to put a protection against them. Because there's not a law right now that you can say, I can, I'm going hunting for a Bigfoot, and if you find one, you can shoot it and kill it. Just to say you killed one and uh, prove that, yeah, they do exist. Some people think that they're a, they're a myth, that they don't exist. I myself think they exist. Um, being out in the woods, um, uh, you know, in the uh, in the Ozark Mountains, you hear things that are wow, they're incredible. No other animal makes that such a sound. Uh, so, what was it? I don't know. Fascinating. Uh, I want to keep up on the reports and let, let you guys know. I um, wanted to first of all apologize to Joe. Joe, I am very sorry that I cannot watch that show that you do, that you did yesterday. I want to listen to it, but it cuts out so badly. You hear about every other word what you guys say and you get a blank screen. It's non-stereo, so I do apologize, Joe. I cannot tune in anymore until they fix it. Uh, their bandwidth's too small. Now, when they're strictly on uh, music and no video, uh, it sounds good. Um, stereo, the whole bit. But uh, if you guys want to go to that, uh, which I think you should, um, since you don't have, since they don't have the bandwidth, um, that ought to be good. Now, my question, Joe, is this actually broadcasted on FM? You know, on um, over the air type broadcast. So let me know on that. Um, let's see what else. <sighs> Still haven't got to word yet about the doctor, so I don't. I haven't. I don't know when the surgery is going to be. Um, 
still waiting. The jet from uh, going into Boise. It's mostly clear right at the moment. Uh, we're supposed to have rain for the next five days. Southwest. Seven thirty-seven. I used to fly those. Enjoy it. Um, this morning was very, very foggy this morning. That's what caused, I think, most of the ice. It's starting to melt now. It's uh, temperatures getting up. It was 32 degrees when I checked a while ago. So the sun's out uh, a little bit. Shining to the thin clouds. But we did have rain last night. It just poured last night. So hopefully uh, we're supposed to get nothing but rain. Um, let's see. Brian. OMV. Let me tell you a little story. The post office um, in Arkansas, in Rogers, Arkansas, they built a brand new monster of a post office. More than what they needed. Um, they bought, the government bought the land. They put the building up. They put all the um, asphalt in, sidewalk in. They had one of their engineers come in and look at um, the post office, taking measurements. The sidewalk in front of the building was a half an inch off. half inch off. They tore the whole sidewalk out. Cost them thousands of dollars to do that and redo it to, to move it one half of an inch. Does that make any sense? A half an inch. And I complained about it because it it's our government, you know. It, it's wasting money they said oh well you know this is a government building it has to be perfect doesn't make any sense to me and they wonder why they're going broke well it's the same thing okay it's the same thing as Twinkies they they're all union they, uh, a postman that delivers your mail gets paid very, very well. I know a man that retired from the postal service. He was getting 33 bucks an hour for delivering mail. He walked his route. Um, then they gave him one of them little Jeep things. So he drove it to a different distances and uh, then he walked the route uh, up on one side of the street down the other back to his Jeep hopped in it and drove a little bit stop um, so on go figure some of the rural routes are done by regular people in their own cars they get paid very well as a, a two. And they get gas. They get free gas. So things has to change. Pony Express, huh? Go back to the Pony Express. Give you a good example, Brian. I sent Axe a uh, headset, a cordless headset. Um, I declared it at zero dollars because if I didn't or if I put insurance on it he would have to pay out of his own pocket and I didn't want that to happen 
um, so I didn't put any insurance on it I put zero declare and um, I listed it as a headset I didn't lie but a zero dollar when Axe got it the box was so crushed I mean it was just unreal how badly damaged that thing was and I'm very lucky that he got it and it wasn't broken um, that's a seventy dollar headset amazing how the postal service and I wonder why they're going bankrupt Now they're going to raise the, the, the one cent stamp up, or the, the regular mail stamp up to one cent because they're losing so much money. Well, duh. There's so other ways to sending mail. I think in the near future you're going to see the Postal Service fail. Of course, then our U.S. government will probably bail them out. That would be more money that we've got to repay. Who knows? I think they should let them fail. Unions. Unions destroy companies. Because all they want is want, 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 want. To stay in business, just like the Twinkies, okay, and the hostess company. I remember Twinkies all my life. I'm 56 friggin' years old. Twinkies, when I was a little kid, they were cream filled. Uh, you know, they were like banana filled. They were awesome. Then, cause of the wars, you know, they changed their filling to a cream type filling, which was a lighter and cheaper, of course, more sugar. And they they've been producing them ever since. You can put a Twinkie on a shelf in the last uh, 10, 15 years. There's so much preservative in that; it's not even funny. But the unions. They want, 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 want. You know, there comes to a point you can only charge so much for a Twinkie. Okay? It's the same thing with a postal service. You can only charge so much for a stamp. People are getting away from stamps and mailing through that because it's too dead gum expensive. Why not do it over the internet? It's a secured website. Do it with your card, which the bank guarantees that if someone swipes your number, they'll pay the pay it back. That's why I use a debit card. I don't use credit card. I don't I wouldn't own a credit card. Sorry. No 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 no. If I don't have the cash for it, I don't buy it. Period. I do without. But so many people, they go hog wild over Christmas with a credit card. Stupid. Unions. Oh, I gotta have 33 or more per hour. I know a, a guy right now that's been without a job for four and a half years. Just because he will not work for less than $15 an hour no matter what the job is. I'm sorry, and he has a family, so he's living on welfare. I'm sorry. Get off your ass. Sorry for the word. Doesn't matter. Kids today doesn't realize on how lucky they have it. Got to have their video games. They got to have their uh, iPods, iPads, computers. Can't live without those. 
How you gonna pay for it? Hi, Mom. Dad. You know. Kids get out here and... I see them all the time. Squeal tired, you know, on the takeoff at a stop sign. Hey, that rubber costs money. Oh, Dad will buy me new tires when I, when I need them. Bull. Get off your butt and go to work. I worked all my life. I've had a job. My first job, I was 13 freaking years old. I looked older. Um, so I lied. I worked in a chicken plant in Arkansas. Didn't like it. But it was a job. I made money. But yeah, I've been working most of my life. Nothing wrong with that. Jobs are hard to find now. And they're going to get worse. I think the government ought to bust all unions. If you're a union worker, I'm sorry. It's your union steward. Your union representatives are dragging you down. I'm going to cut this video off because I know it's probably 20 minutes long. Something like that. I don't know how long I've been yapping, but hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, mercy. I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Um, appreciate that. Um, there's one guy that's got, uh, I can't remember his name, it's one up skull or something like that appreciate him he watches all my videos uh, I appreciate you bud um, so guys take care um, hope you're doing well and uh, drive safely where you're out there on the highways and byways and uh, stay safe for the holidays don't drink and drive that's bad stuff. Don't know where it is. It's high enough. Sounds loud. Ah, there he is. Going to the hospital. Chopper. Going to the hospital to pick up somebody. This hospital down here in Emmett just can't do anything much. Uh, anyway, uh, don't drink and drive. And um, be careful. And uh, I know the holidays, this is a, a very rough season. Don't overeat. Uh, cause, and try to, try to relax. Um, um, this time of year... It's stressful. The more stress you have, the more of a chance of a heart attack you could have. And um, we don't want you to have a heart attack, okay? God bless you all. Love you all. See you later. Love yous. Bye.